Dear students, we were discussing the impact of computer science on our lives. And in today's module, we will be discussing one of the aspects in this dimension known as software licenses and information privacy. So software licenses are basically the documents that provides legal binding guidelines for the use and distribution of the software. So you might have used or you might have installed some of the softwares on your computer and that software might have come with a software license, which normally we click, yes, we accept all of the terms and conditions and the licenses and we move forward. So actually in that document, there is written statements that tells you that whether you can use this software legally or whether you can distribute that software to some other people in your organization. So software licenses typically provide end user with the right to one or more copies of the software without violating copyrights. And there could be number of terms and conditions which are mentioned in software licenses. For example, fair use of the software, the limitation of liability, warranties and disclaimers which are mentioned at different places of the software and there are mentioned as well the protections if the software or its use violates the intellectual property rights of other. So we will be further discussing about intellectual property rights in some of the modules until here you can understand that this is a property that is based on the intellect of a person. So a person who has invented something digitally in the form of software, so that thing can be protected using intellectual property rights. And there are uh, broadly speaking three types of software licenses. For example, proprietary, free and open source. In proprietary uh, software license, you are not allowed to use that software out of the boundaries defined by the inventor or creator of the software. So this is the property of the creator or inventor of that software. However, in the uh, free software license, you are allowed to use the software whatever way you want and even you can redistribute this software to some of other people. And in the, in the form of open source software licenses, this is basically a software that has been built by someone in some parts or the initial phase. And then that person or that firm shared that software globally with all of the users of the world. And then they can even uh, contribute to build or to add some of the other functionalities in that software. And then those changes are pointed out to the creator of that software. And then that creator make possible that those changes, if they are okay, those are added in the next release of the software. So some of the operating systems like Linux are open source softwares that you can even add contribute in those softwares, in those operating systems in different dimensions according to your requirements. Then the second uh, aspect of today's module is information privacy. So data, it is also known as data privacy and sometimes it is called information privacy. This deals with the ability of an organization or individual has to determine what data in a computer system can be shared with third party. So there are different acts in this dimension that which kind of data can be shared. For example, there is a Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, which is known as COPPA, C-O-P-P-A. So this gives parents control over what information websites can collect from their kids. So those uh, websites can collect information from the kids but that act defines that what type of information can be collected. Then there is a other 
Act known as Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, that ensures patients' confidentiality for all healthcare related data. So, if a patient was admitted in a hospital, so which kind of data can be shared with third party? For example, that patient has some disease, it has, for example, some uh, reports of blood or some other uh, diagnostics. So, those type of information can be shared or cannot be shared. Such kind of terms and conditions have been mentioned in HIPAA. Then there is another act known as Electronic Communication Privacy Act, ECPA, that extends government restrictions on wire tapes to include transmission of electronic data. And then there is another act known as Video Privacy Protection Act that prevents wrongful disclosure of an individual's personally identifiable information stemming from their rental or purchase of audiovisual materials. Then there is another known as Cram Leach Blaley Act that mandates how financial institutions must deal with the private information of an individual. So, for example, if you are working in a organization, so what kind of your information can be shared with third party? So, let's summarize today's module. We have learned two aspects of computer science impact, which are the software licenses, their terms and conditions, their license types, and information privacy, and some of the international laws for information privacy.